Say the office lobby, not office lobby, question mark? Okay, that's the piece we- oh! Top of the morning, you ladies! My name is Jack Septic Guy, and welcome to My Friendly Neighborhood, a horror game kind of based around, like, Muppets or Sesame Street sort of vibe. Uh, it's been doing the rounds on YouTube, a lot of really big hype around it. It's just a demo right now, but people have been comparing it to games like Poppy Playtime and this surge of brand new horror games that are really kind of like wowing everybody with their production values. So I'm really excited for it. Uh, people have said some really, really great things about it, but again, it's just a demo, so. Welcome to the neighborhood. It's, that's literally Kermit. <laughs> Welcome to the neighborhood. Well, <laughs> that's terrible. Back up that way. I, do I just have a gun? Woohoohoo! Why do I have a, a gun? A, B, C, one, two, three, bang, bang, bang! <laughs> okay, I don't have a map apparently. Oh, this. <laughs> Guys, big news! The Jacksepticeye How Do We Get Here live show comedy world tour that you would have had 90 minutes for, the tour documentary is finally coming out. It means a lot to me. I'm incredibly proud of it. It's not just a behind the scenes of the tour. This is a documentary that we made specifically for people who are really into the channel, who want to learn more about my life, who want to take that deeper, more intimate dive into my life. You get to see my family in it, you get to see where I grew up, I go back to my childhood home, I talk about stories that I've never talked about before on my channel anywhere, so if you're interested in it, there's a link down in the description where you can get tickets to go watch it live. It's going to be like a live stream premiere of the documentary that you can watch on the 28th of February. Please check it out, it would really mean a lot to me. Oh dear, oh. oh my. You seem to be stranded in the basement. How do I get out of here, Ricky? Oh, haven't a clue. Never come down here myself. Why? What's <laughs> got your overalls in a knot? I'm trying to get to the roof. The roof? <laughs> Look, you gotta give up this nonsense about the antenna. Looks very bad. Very unprofessional. It's my job. Look, Gordy. I know our routine's a little rough, but don't judge a show by its pilot. Incidentally, I would hide again. What is it this time? Well, Ray, of course. He's the best <laughs> sort of monster janitor thing, but doesn't like it when people intrude on his territory. Tends to get a bit grouchy. One might say, assault happy? Great. <laughs> Are all of you puppets crazy? Well, Ray has always been a little grouchy, even before the shutdown. That's why they moved him down here. Only way out is by elevator, and he can't figure out how to use the buttons. Didn't help, though. He goes through the pipes. Elevator. <laughs> oh, silly me. I forgot about the elevators. Really, Gordon, I wouldn't bother. The cables are probably rusted. I don't think they even run anymore. I'll take my chances. Wow, you're so courageous and stuff. Look, I gotta go wash my hair. <laughs> wow. That's absolutely fantastic. You know how you can tell immediately when a game is going to be good? Because it's like, everything looks good, it's a good concept, and then he comes out, the animation is good, the writing is good, the voice acting is great. This, this is going to be a good one. Ray. Okay, so this actually is like a TV show, like Sesame Street. I, I also like that, sir, like, resurgence of old-timey stuff coming back in the form of horror games, like Chuck E. Cheese and FNAF. Old wire hose animation is in Bendy and the Ink Machine. Poppy Playtime had like a puppet toy thing going on. Now this has Muppets, which I've always found terrifying as a kid. Neat. I'm into it. I'm j immediately, I'm into it. Hey there, kids. I live in your TV set. That's right. It's the strangest place to be inside of your TV. I can see wire. I actually don't know if I should be scared or if they're friendly. Wait, oh, you're bad. Okay, Jesus. Don't do it, man. I'll I'll pop a cap in you. Oh my god, you guys are terrifying. Are we starting now? Leave me alone. Are we starting now? Oh, that's awesome. Damn. Uh-oh, don't fall. You might break your legs, but I have no bones. <laughs> to all construction personnel, 
Due to ongoing renovation of the deeper stages, a high security door has been installed to keep puppets out of the construction zone. Every employee has been issued a set of punch cards for opening the door. If you lose your punch cards, this machine can be used to generate replacements, office logistics. Okay, so it's like key cards. Got it. F to view your notes, E to continue. Neat. It's actual notes. It's like a briefcase. That's dope. Okay, so we need to do 3, 10, and 10 or 9. Wait, it says 7 though. Whatever. Um. Uh, looks like it needs power. That's usually a good place to start. Yeah. Okay. Uh, danger! This machine is remotely controlled and may start without warning. Gotcha, gotcha. It's also a very, like, Resident Evil-y sort of going through doors aspect to it. It's locked. Okay, putting the pieces together. My brain is working. I got money. I got drugs. Ricky with friends. Twice daily on public access. Zip zap. Here comes the signals. Oh! Hey, baby. Why don't you come on down? Make yourself a little more comfortable. Take off your shoes, kick up your feet, and show me those soles. Let me nibble on your toes, baby. <laughs> I love that sweet, sexy jazz just kicked in. Oh, sweet Jesus. Okay, this is this is a lot to take in. Take a basement map. Okay, I got that. R to open your map. Nice. Love that. I love that it's hand drawn as well. Okay. Oh, so we need to make three, which would be. Two plus two minus one. Got it. <laughs> Look, math was never my strong suit. Um, so it's square, square, triangle. Well, I need power to the thing first, so. Heal and save. Oh, wow. So the money I got is actually useful. Nice. That's very Bioshock. Have a smiling day. I will. <laughs> um. All right, where do I put on power, though? Probably through there, I would reckon. Let me go back, though. I want to see what that other hallway was that she was guarding. Can you do anything with these? The ah! Jesus! Okay, can you guys, like, follow me? Ah, God, this is terrifying! Oi, I'm actually using health! Ah! I'm in danger! Go, 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 go! <laughs> They're not even, like, doing anything that scary. It's just the su- What? Oh. Hey! Who's there? Hi? What's up? What you doing? Just banging on things? Oh my god, you're in- Are you Ray? I probably- Probably shouldn't shoot Ray. I also keep pressing R to reload, and R is my map. <laughs> Jeez, that gave me a scare! What was that? Jeez, that gave me a heckin' fright! I'm doing a heckin' scared right now! What do you want from me? I- Dude, I can literally do all the voices in this game. Stop! Let's fix. Okay, so Ray will fix it. Hey, Ray! What's going on? I don't know what you guys do. You die, apparently. Oh, no, he's fine. <laughs> uh, looks like part of it's missing. Okay. Fair enough. Gordo, where do we get the part that's missing, though? Episode 27, segment 6, Ray's Plumbing Nightmare. 
Ricky enters Ray's set, looking around for Ray. Oh boy, where's Ray? 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 The room shakes and water splashes down from the ceiling. Oh my goodness, what is happening? This is just a scene. This is literally just a script. <laughs> what? People are trying to get rid of their problems by flushing them down the toilet. Laundry, taxes, blackmail, Ray? These are parts of life, you can't just ignore them. That's good, teaching the kids about taxes. About laundry, money laundering as well. Why not? Uh, blackmail, all good children's problems. Don't flush away your problems. As the song ends, the room shakes and water splashes down from the ceiling. Ray, if we don't get this problem taken care of, won't the whole sewer system explode, destroying the entire city? Damn, fucking high stakes on Sesame Street. A magazine. Am I shooting paper at them? It says X on it now. If I do that... Oh. I feel like... Oh, I can press Q to spin. I thought I was, like, reloading. Uh-oh! Bonk! <laughs> Alright, so... I'm missing a piece for that. I need power to the other thing. Maybe that turned on power to the other stuff as well. Who knows? Let's go check. Oh, I forgot that you guys are actually gonna kill me now, aren't you? God! I thought three shots were gonna get her. Oh man, I have to do it all again. Well, Christ. Back up that way. Hey, Ricky. Oh dear. Bye, oh, Ricky. <laughs> Whoa! When enemies are knocked over, you can tape them. Look at the enemy and press E. I just committed murder! Oh God, Ray's down there. Hey! <laughs> What's up, Ray? Bye, you big old lump. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Bound and gagged them. I also realized there's a room over here on the map that I didn't check. Nice. Okay, making progress. <laughs> Can I sneak? I would love to be able to sneak and get around people. How do I sneak? <laughs> oh my god, you take a lot of bullets. I have no tape! Hi! Oh god, oh god, oh god, just get out of here. I need tape. Tape, glue, anything. Oh my god, there's so many places to go. Ooh, a shotgun! <laughs> The novelist. Me and my daddy used to always go hunting for Muppets. They used to say Muppets Christmas Carol was the best movie to watch at Christmas, but I never thought so much. I always hated it. <laughs> anyway. Let's get writing. Let's get writing. <laughs> oh, because that's a book on it. This is so weird. It's a typewriter book shotgun. What a bizarre game. Mr. Al, I was hanging around the office last night to keep the pipes from freezing, so I had the time to work out the kinks on our latest project. The output is pretty flashy, but it should be useful for stunts, special effects, etc. I blasted a couple of Normans with it. They seem to have fun flying across the room. It uses up a lot of letters, though, so try to conserve ammo. Okay. Um, by the way, a few of the employees might notice their typewriters are missing. Hank. Good ol' Hank. Hank's a buddy. Hank helps us out. Oh, is that guy still taped back there, do you think? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, goody gumdrops. Give it to me all. I want it. I want it so bad. Give me the guns. Give me the blamolas. Give me the razzle dazzle. The game shouldn't have had voices like that because I love doing that type of voice, so that's just going to be all I do now. <laughs> Where am I hiding? Hi -ya! <laughs> okay. I can do that to you, but you, I want to tape. Shh. Ah, no. 
Boom! Have you ever just wanted to shoot the Muppets in the face? Have you ever just wanted to see Kermit and give him like a full 12 gauge? So oh God. Benny, did you walk me home after the shoot today? I'm feeling a little unsettled after the mugging on Great Street a couple of nights ago. Can you tell me how to get, how to get not mugged in Sesame Street? It seems like the city is getting more and more violent every day. Some days I feel like the only safe place is the neighborhood. I know it's silly, but it'd mean a lot to me. Mr. Gerswald usually lets me go around 6.30. Meet me in the office lobby? Julia, you don't seem too sure about that, Julia. You want me to, you want me to meet you in the office lobby? Then say the office lobby, not office lobby, question mark? Okay, that's the piece we- oh! I'll just keep that one closed. <laughs> okay, good. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> I thought that just said men. Educating the world. Men. <laughs> MFN actually says for more fucking network. It doesn't really. It's kids show. Okay, I like that they're teaching me as well as terrifying me. Teach and then terrify. It's a good motto to have. Terrify then teach. It's locked from the other side. Oh baby, just like Dark Souls. This really is the Dark Souls of horror games. If I walk past that, are you gonna actually get me? Uh, we got a P for for fuck fuck so food food food. Is he swearing at me? Oh, he's still taped up. <laughs> I love that they're taped up and still yelling at me. I love cake. Do you love cake? What's your favorite type of cake? I love cake with lots of layers, lots of frosting on it. Oh, if it has lots of colors, then that's great. This was the piece for this, right? I stick this in and then put that into something else. Powers! Oh, shoot. Of course. Oh, I like that, Okay, whoever did the voice acting in this game is fantastic. Ooh, uh, there's a thing over there. Maybe I should go there. Uh. Well, well, well. Hey, 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 hey. Hi. Hi. Ah! Oh, Jesus! Ah, the door blocked me! What's your favorite dinner food? <laughs> How did you get in here? Okay, you're all still gagged. Good. Good, good, good. I need to go save. I remember those. Oh god. I never realized how freaky they are. Like watching them as a kid, they're kinda weird, but as a kid you're like, oh they're teaching me cool stuff. Hey, whatever. Now <laughs> you have funny voices. But seeing them like that, ugh. Heal me up there, Johnny. Your receipt. You've been healed. Difficulty? Normal. Health? Healthy. Other notes? Consider taking seeking asthma treatment. You should get more exercise. <laughs> yeah, because every time you play a horror game, they can't run for more than like five seconds. They all have asthma. I feel so seen and recognized. When you got asthma, it just makes you better than most people. Just makes you sexier. Just look at my face. I might not be able to breathe, but at least it gives me that sultry sound. <laughs> Thank you, public health station. Cool. Neato. Boiler room. Please come again. Thank you. No problem. I will do. Uh, what did I say? Square, square, triangle for three. I don't know what doors they open though. I already figured that out first, right? Like, I get this, but I don't know where to go with it. Stick her in there, Johnny! Okay. Nice! My- my bad! <laughs> Just get the shit out of myself. Oh! That's fun. I like that. Okay. 
So that had to be set to three. So I'm assuming this one has to be set to eight, regardless of what it says here, because it's circled. All right, now we need 10. I don't know what 10 is. Uh, it's six plus two plus two, so it's circle, square, square. Does my math check out? Wow! Hitting the big 10, baby. Let's go. <laughs> it's cause I learned it on the neighborhood. They came out and they said one plus one equals two. I didn't believe them cause I thought it was propaganda. Yeah, see, I don't know if I'm supposed to be doing Oh, maybe that's just X off to like, don't do nine, do eight. Or seven. It's seven. What am I saying? It's seven. It's not, it's not nine. It's not eight. Um. So six plus two minus one. Nice. Boom, baby. Math saves the day once again. I should have saved after doing that. But whatever. Who wants to go, huh? I got a shotgun and I got a lot of faces to hit. I wonder how deep this goes. Probably deeper than your mom's ass. <laughs> Gordon, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean it, but the joke was right there. It, did, it wasn't even that funny, but I wanted to say it. Um, we can go into the pipe room or head to the puppet storage. I do like that if the zone is cleared, it goes green. Does that mean I didn't do everything in these zones? I've never been much of a completionist gamer. Well, I guess it depends on the game. What? <laughs> Why am I getting into a speedboat? What is happening? Is that fast travel to a new area? Sick. <laughs> Sewer system runs deep in the neighborhood, I see. Um, I don't need to heal. Wait, where am I? Oh! I'm all the way back here! In the office basement. Do I... Do I need to be back here? I'm kind of worried why you're bringing me back here, like I... What? Learn the alphabet? What's the alphabet? Or maybe because I need to go up there. Yeah, these are all locked. I'm going back. I'm going back to the other... I want to go to the puppet stage. I feel like I'm supposed to come back here after. I do like that though. That... It seems like a proper world. It's very Resident Evil. Great. Fantastic game so far. <laughs> That's it. Uh-oh, deep and stinky water. Whenever I say that, by the way, I'm not comparing the two. I just, it's always in my head. I like seeing how games are developed and how things influence each other and how certain patterns start emerging. My brain loves seeing patterns in things. So I always, I always verbalize the things that other things remind me of. But then people are always like, Jack, it's not inspired by that. Take the hammer. Bash his head in. How much? Can I check my stuff? Good for you. <laughs> Hold your hands up in the air. Now bring them down in front of your face. See, that's two hands. Now take one of your hands, put it in your mouth, and swallow as hard as you can. Now you have one hand inside of your stomach and one hand outside. This is the best part. Take your other hand, put it next to the hand in your mouth, and swallow again. <laughs> now you have two hands in your stomach. That's how numbers work. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I had to put an end to him. He's teaching the kids bad stuff. Put your hands in your stomach and swallow hard? What is wrong with you? Shut the fuck up! You guys need to be stopped! You're teaching the kids bad stuff! Shut up! I don't want to be your friend, you suck! Yeah, I should probably go ahead and save real quick.
Oh great, I saved in the prop hallway. That's a good place. I feel like I should be killing these or there's something in them that I can get or- Oh god, you're so scary! Why are you all the same too? Ricky, is that you in the pipes? Or Ray, not Ricky. It's locked with an electronic lock. Don't come alive. Okay. Okay, well, I'll, I'll just come back later then. Uh-oh, shh. If you make a sound, the rocks might cave in and... Bash your brains in. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, my God. That is terrifying. Let me out, 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 let me out. Ooh, ammo. Let me out, let me out, let me out. Oh, never again. Where should I go next? Um... I was race stage. There's no, like... There's no, like, power room. Maybe I should go back to some of these. Maybe I should be in the office basement. That's terrifying! Stop screaming at me! Oh lord, those are so many more of them. You think I can shoot them off the edge? Oh lord, I hate that they come with their arms fully extended. La la la, come give me a hug. I promise. I'll treat you well. Oh. Kind of box. I missed the thing. Oh, and a key. Frank, Ray seemed pretty interested in the sewers lately, so I went ahead and hid the doors, fuses, and those lock boxes around the basement. There's one in this hall, puppet storage, the locker room, and the hangout by the punch card machines. Got it. That's a lot easier. Thank you. Don't come alive, don't come alive, don't come alive, don't come alive. Nice. Okay, so now I actually have the key to unlock these things. So this is the third one? There's no room in the toolbox. Well, put something away then. What are you talking about? Uh, let me stash this. Stash two of them. I don't need that much health right now. Everything's taped up. And then I'll, I'll go put this one in immediately. Shut up, rat. <laughs> Sorry, it's been a long day. Nice. Got it. So when all these things open, these should connect back to some other areas as well. Now I need to... I forget where he said they were. I get it. Shut up. I'm glad they stay taped up for basically ever. <laughs> but it doesn't stop them from yelling at me. Uh, what did they say? That's not that. Uh, fuse box, breaker note. The one in this hall, puppet storage, the locker room, and the hangout by the punch card machines. Um, oh, they're marked. Nice! <laughs> He's teaching me the alphabet. I already know it. Z is for go fuck yourself. Okay, that's the first one. Hate that room. Hate it with a passion. You doing good? <laughs> He's missing an eye! So they're... I mean, I guess it would make sense that... Oh, God. They have a bunch of different puppets ready for the show. Like, if one is in disrepair or gets messed up or loses an eye or needs to be fixed. What is that? I guess they need to, like, have puppets on demand. Anytime that happens, but... Okay, heading back. Let me just get in my speedboat. If you if you have a speedboat, get out of here! The sewer has to, has to lead somewhere. The ocean. Go there. So terrifying. I also have a, a chain that I can break on that one. You look at the window waiting for the mail? 
Not a great life, is it? Okay, so it's... It's the, the beautiful shamrock! Otherwise known as clubs. And then it's diamond. Sorry. I've been... <laughs> I shouldn't be yawning on camera like this. I'm having fun with the game. It's really, really good. I just was up all night playing Elden Ring. Yo, what's up? Can you tell me how to get to Sesame Street? This is my kind of Sesame Street. You can't knock them off the edge. I guess that would be a little too OP, wouldn't it? <laughs> uh, let's save. Why not? The save system's there, we might as well. Even though we're probably coming to the towards the end of the demo anyway, but... It's good to be diligent. Baby... If you don't save your time, then you ain't got no time worth saving. You don't take time for yourself to... Put some music on, light some candles, pour yourself a glass of wine and get in those bubbles, baby. Then life just ain't worth living. <laughs> Alright, so it's clubs, diamonds, and then spades, right? Oh. I didn't even have to figure that out. Hey y'all, I'm Norman. I'm a really normal guy. I just kind of uh, show up to be a friendly face in the background. Uh, sometimes I get some lines to recite too. Let me show you. Uh, <clears throat> Whoa! Okay, Norman. <gasps> Bold cutters. No room in the toolbox. God dang it. Stop trying to tell me to swallow my hands, Norman. It's not going to happen. Oh god. God damn. These are the letters I'm shooting at him. What do you think I shot? What do you think it said? He's gonna wake back up. He's gonna get up again. That's what I'm missing, baby. Is that a green room right now? Don't get up. Stay down! Stay down, bro! Stay down! Where am I? That's a green room right there! Gordo's in the house! Gordo's got it sorted! So now I need to get to... Sesame Street? <laughs> How do I get around there quickest? I think do this... Yeah, yeah! It's right here. <laughs> she sounds like a weird R2-D2. Ooh, secret tape. A cheat unlocked. Uh-oh, don't fall. If you fall down the stairs, you'll break your back. And if you break your back, then you can't dance. Oh, God. Have we got to another layer of hell? Wait, does the demo end there? Hey there! John here! Thanks very much for playing this demo! I hope that you enjoyed yourself. MFN development is progressing fantastically. There will be more to share soon. If you did enjoy, I'd really appreciate a wish list over on Steam. Yeah, do it! I've also got, I've got a different project you can check out too. It's very different from this one, but it may strike your fancy. Oh, one other thing. It might be worth taking a second look around the basement. See you soon. <laughs> that was fantastic. That is a very, very good game. I am so excited to see the rest of that. I hope that these videos kind of like bolster it further as well. Like, yeah, go wishlist. Apparently, if you wishlist stuff on Steam, it rises it through the ranks that more people can see it. And then that leads to... Games getting bought more and leads to more sales, at least some more money, which leads to more game development and faster game development because you get the finances to be able to fund all of the stuff that you want to make. But I think that that was great. I really like the elements involved in it. I like that, again, there's a lot of these types of games coming out conceptually where you take a beloved sort of kids franchise and then flip it on its head and turn it into something scary, a la FNAF, Bendy, Poppy, and now this as well as some other things as well, of course, but 
I feel like they sort of exemplify a good way of being able to do it. Because this isn't just... It's easy to, like, make things look good. Well, not easy, but you know what I mean. It's one thing to just make it look good and have that theme and have that aesthetic. But to actually have really good gameplay mechanics around it as well, which this did. Being able to go around and unlock boxes and secrets and backtracking and shortcuts and fast traveling around the place. That's... That's stuff that, like, AAA games have. That's very Resident Evil 2 Remake. I say that because that's the one I played on the channel that exemplifies it most. Um, and that's really good, but it had really fantastic animation on all the characters, which is a hard thing to do. The sound design was great. The, the guns were all really unique, having, like, typewriter stuff in them. Fantastic design. And then all the voice acting was fucking great as well. It's just, overall, it's a completely full package. In demo form, of course, right now, but... But I'm very impressed! That was really good! I'm so excited to see more of that! Speedrun mode, camera mode, infinite Rolodex, or veteran long arms? What is happening? <laughs> long arms and unlimited Rolodex or ammo? Cool. I don't know what camera mode is. I don't know. That's cool though, that even the demo has stuff to check out to go back through again. And I think I definitely missed stuff. So, it's worth going and playing it for yourself. I always think- I always feel a little bad when I show absolutely everything in a game on the channel, because I feel like... Well, now there's nothing for you to go find. <laughs> um, so go, check it out. The demo's free right now. I loved it. I think it's gonna be great. I'm super excited to see more of it. Um, yeah, that's gonna be it. Thanks so much for watching, guys! Appreciate ya! Peace!